Assalamu alaikum. Most people when they get sick when, or when they contract a condition or a disease, the first thing to do is to think of, of seeing or visiting a doctor and then check themselves to show have a, a medical check-in and then after the doctor they will go to the pharmacy to get some medicines and drugs and then they take them and uh, so on. This is the main way all people are following, but they don't think, they never think about things that they should do themselves. So what practices and what things that you should do that yourselves beside these treatment and beside the medicines and what your doctor gave you. And our procedure is based on three principles, only three principles, three strong points in this procedure. The first one is you should know the cause or the causes of your disease or your condition. If you continue to ignore this cause or these causes, you will never reverse your condition even with the medicines or even with you, what your doctor will prescribe you as a, as a treatment. And you should know yourself the cause or the causes of your disease. And I will give some examples that you cannot have some cardiovascular diseases without any cause. Cardiovascular diseases, they have some causes, not only one cause, but causes. And so, and you cannot really have hypertension without any cause. It doesn't exist. Uh, there is no disease without, without any cause. It, it comes uh, to you without uh, anything. And why there is a relationship, there is a link between typhoid, uh, for example, between typhoid and Salmonella enterica. The agent, the biological agent which may cause salmonella when you eat contaminated food or polluted food by these microbes, by these microorganisms, uh, salmonella, sure will get uh, typhoid. Uh, your temperature will increase and you will have vomiting and diarrhea and so on, then some symptoms of salmonella, of, uh, of uh, typhoid, and then you are sure that because typhoid is caused by salmonella, it's known, it's really known. And people, they don't like, why they don't like to link between food and cancer, for instance. And they, they, they know that salmonella may come from eating contaminated food by salmonella, but they don't, they don't, they, they don't believe that cancer may come from what, what they are eating, some causes and some chemical agents and some contaminants in food that may cause your cancer. And then you should know the cause, like the the main example that make you understand, that makes you understand this, is when you get an allergy. Yeah? When, when, when you have itching in your skin and you get an allergy, that sure, that sure you have eaten something that, may, that has uh, caused you this allergy and, this, and, and you see the allergy. Like histamine or some contaminated foods by some allergenic compounds like histamine or and many others. And there is um, a, a link, a direct link between the cause and the agent and the disease that your, your allergy is caused by something that you may have eaten or breathing or smelling or, or something on your skin and, uh, and, and so on. And the, the, our procedure is based on three principles that the first one that you should know the cause or the causes of your disease. Uh, for you can reverse your disease yourself because that because when you stop the cause, uh, sure you will stop your disease, you will reverse your disease. By only by stopping the cause of the disease in the case of allergies and asthma. So, and the, the second principle that is how to use these treatment, how to use these treatment and what things to do with these treatments. Not only take your treatment, your drug, and then to not do to any, anything. This is the, this is a, this is the not the right way that you will you can reverse or you can live in, in, in peace and because now there are many conditions and many diseases are not we cannot heal like terminal diseases or untreated diseases a lot of them like autoimmune diseases there is no treatment for the autoimmune when the corticoids and then the, you cannot live with corticoids all the, all your life and this we will make you understand your disease and your condition and you have to participate to this healing procedure you should help your doctor, not your doctor should help you, but you, you should help your doctor for finding the right way for reversing this disease. And this is uh, uh, the main goal or the main objectives of this, uh, uh, this channel. And uh, the first point is to know the cause of the disease. The second one is what to do huh? beside the treatment, like uh, clean food and natural food and some uh, 
exercise and uh, sports and uh, walking or swimming or doing some uh, exercises in your house and, and so on and uh, even what to use as natural curing agents or the healing agents like some medicinal plants or some uh, now uh, food supplements that can help your disease and then wait what your doctor can give you that you will reverse your disease and if you can uh, uh, you should avoid uh, using the drugs uh, for a long time you can use drugs and you should go to visit your doctor and you should go also to see with pharmacies to get your drugs but you should not take them for a long time you should uh, uh, change your lifestyle and you should know the cause of the disease before you can avoid it. And when you know the cause and when you avoid it, and so when you stop it, sure that you will have a very good results for the treatment that your doctor can provide you. So, or, or health healthcare provider, your healthcare provider also. Then this is the second principle. The third principle is uh, what uh, if side effects, what these drugs and this treatment can do in your family. It's not safe. They are not safe, even traditional or modern, even natural or modern, they are not safe. And some side effects from drugs or from some plants or from sub food supplements or when joining them, how we're com when combining them and using them together in the same time, they will get some reactions are uh, some new reactions that they can give you another disease that you are treating your hypertension by taking some tablets just to lessen the, this hypertension but in the same time if you continue to use this drug and this medicine during 5 or 10 years or 15 years at the least that you will have a kidney problems you will have uh, kidney failures and uh, renal failures and uh, kidney problems now most of people now are doing dialysis. They are now uh, they, they they have their kidneys stop and they don't function that because they use it and they have used medicines and drugs for long time for many years and this is the case. And on this channel we will show you things that you should do yourself. We will not tell you to not go and see your doctor. We will not tell you to not take these drugs and these medicines targeting and uh, we are targeting all things that you should avoid to not have uh, a disease or to not uh, have a complication of the disease that if you continue to ignore the cause if you continue to eat everything and nothing and if you continue to not now to ignore what you are eating or what you are drinking and uh, uh, the area you are living is it polluted or is, in, is there any I don't know in factories or chemical industries around you uh, when you are living and all these things that you should check them and you should know them that for you can reverse your disease not to reverse but at least don't help yourself in reversing the disease and to not have a side effects and to not use the drug during a long time because many people now are suffering from these drugs during 20 years and 25 years and then they are living on by these drugs and by these medicines so this is our goal on this channel and this I'm Dr. Mohammed Faid inshallah will continue with you and will help you uh, until another episode see you assalamu alaikum